Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is should you be paying to get onto shows? Now, it's something that I'm pretty sure that you've ran into at least once or twice in your career. If you've ever even thought about doing shows anywhere in your hometown or at a festival or at shows out of state. Now, I wanna give you guys the outside perspective of it, looking at it from being a promoter and how I genuinely feel like you guys should look at it being the artist that you are. With that being said, let's get right into it. Now, like I was saying, if you're an artist, I'm pretty sure that at some point you've been asked to pay to get onto a show. You know pay me X, Y, and Z to get onto this showcase, or give me this amount of dollars and I'll let you open up for this artist who's coming into town. It's something that promoters use a lot of times to make their money back on the back end. And I'm sure that it's something that a lot of you have wondered, why are they even charging me to be onto this show? Anyway, it doesn't make sense. Now, shameless plug, as a promoter myself, I can give you guys a little bit of insight into why that's so. Now, as a promoter, we do accrue all of these costs when putting the show together. You have the booking fee for the headlining artist, you have the venue cost, the cost to get alcohol, and all of the little small details that it takes to make a show successful and memorable and like i said for a lot of promoters they pass that cost on to the people who want to open up for their artists so if i put together a five thousand dollar show i can maybe make three thousand dollars back at least by charging six artists five hundred dollars to open up for whatever artist that we have coming into town. So as a promoter, I can definitely understand why they would charge someone to be onto their show. I'm a firm believer in if you've built up a platform, then you deserve to make money off of that platform however you see fit. But if I were you guys, if I were an artist, would I necessarily pay to get onto the show? Not really. Now, should you pay to get onto a show? That's a question that doesn't really have a right or a wrong answer. It pretty much depends on the nature of the show and what your potential benefits could be from being a part of that show. So if you ever get approached by a promoter or catch wind of a promoter who's charging to be on the show, there are things that you can look at to sort of internalize and figure out if it's worth it for you to pay to get onto the show. One of the first things that you should look at is the price of the show and if there are other things that you should be doing. So let's say, for example, that a promoter tells you that for $1,500, you can open up for Lil Baby for 10 minutes. Now really sit back and think to yourself, are there other things that I could be doing with this $1,500 that would much further my career? If the answer is no, and this show could kind of be the best thing that you're doing, then go for it. But if you can think of at least two to three other things that you should be doing with that money, then I would definitely say go for that before you pay to get onto this show. The reason being is as an artist, your ultimate goal should be to build yourself up enough that this promoter will want to come and book you for the show and have you there outside of it just being that you paid to be on the show in the first place. Another thing that you'll definitely want to do is consider the audience that's going to come out for the show. Now, keeping getting the little baby example, if you make music like Taylor Swift, then chances are you will be wasting your money. That crowd will probably not rock with you, and they'll definitely leave during your set. But if you make that type of music and it fits within your brand, then it could be a good look for you, especially if you have a way to make it content for your fan base and add it on to your brand overall. If it's more of a showcase setting, then definitely research into the other artists that'll be on the show, see what type of crowds they bring out, if they even make the same type of music as you, or the type of music that even fits closely to your songs and just overall see if the crowd would even be worth it to pay the money. Another thing to consider is could this show be a good networking opportunity? Sometimes there are industry people in these pay to play showcases that you may want to meet who could genuinely help you further your career. Or are there other artists on the bill that you want to meet? Is the promoter someone that you want to know? If you feel like there's some type of networking value in the show and they're not asking for a crazy amount of money to be a part of the show, then it may be something that you should consider. And lastly, in my opinion, this is one of the most important things that you should consider when even thinking about paying to get onto a show and that's do you have a team and do you have a game plan meaning that if you go and do this show do you have a videographer that can capture this show and have content for you to post throughout the week do you have a photographer that can get some cool show pictures do you have a friend that can go into the crowd and collect emails and social media handles do you have another friend that can sit in the back and sell merch so that hopefully you make some of your money back if not then i would definitely reconsider paying to get onto these shows as you want to leave out of this situation with at least a couple of new fans maybe having put some money back into your pocket and having a good experience that you can share with with your fans so they start to believe in your journey. Real quick, bonus tip. If you've never done a show before, then it's something that you should consider just to get your show experience up. Trust me guys, no promoter wants to book somebody who's never performed before. Now as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.